Well, I decided to uh, get rid of the old glass pack mufflers I had on my 49 C cab hanging out behind the cab and replace it with a full-fledged pickup truck exhaust system. They're getting old and making a lot of noise. So here's, here's the inside view of one of the glass packs and the chrome tailpipe I had on it. Also, you can see the battery that is in the way of the exhaust pipe that has to be moved. Here's the two glass pack mufflers with the chrome extension tailpipes removed from the pickup truck. And now I wanted to see how I could route an exhaust system. Here's, here's the right hand manifold with the exhaust pipe originally going out underneath the fender and then out under to the glass pack. Here's the left side exhaust manifold going out underneath the fender to the glass pack. Both of these exhaust pipes hit the wheels when I turned radically. One of the things I had to do was move the battery. So I moved the battery under the hood up in the upper right hand portion behind the glove box. Now I had a clear path from the front of the pickup truck all the way out to the exhaust. You can see the old battery bracket still in there. That'll be removed when we do the exhaust pipe. The right hand side seemed fairly easy. I could, I could just bend the pipe and put it into a Y tube and, and, and send it out the back. But the left hand exhaust was quite crucial since the steering had been modified on this pickup truck. I had to change the manifold so, so that I could get a center fed exhaust flange out and clear the generator, starter motor and the, and the oil pan. Here's the manifold I got from Chrysler to replace it. This is off an old Hemihead Chrysler. Here's some of the parts I used, here's all the parts I really that I used to build the exhaust system and not counting the tailpipe and muffler. A Y tube and some two and a quarter inch exhaust tubing. I had to build, I had to use a braided uh, fitting so that the flanges on the muffler would fit better. Here's some of the tools that I used. I didn't show my Miller arc welder, but I have a 110 volt Miller arc welder. Fabulous piece of equipment. In addition, I needed some lubrication to make the job go a little easier uh, because there's a lot of pitfalls you get into when you try to build an exhaust system, believe me. First thing I did really was build the flanges to fit up against the exhaust manifold. I used a manifold as a template and I used three quarter inch plate steel and uh, I drilled the holes appropriately. I cut hole, a two and a quarter inch hole for the exhaust tubing into these flanges using a bimetallic saw. Bending the pipe was a real challenge. I had to do a lot. To, I ruined a piece of pipe bending it. But basically what you do is you fill it with sand and then you seal off the ends. And the ends can be sealed with sand, with a, with a cap like that rubber cap or just simply duct tape. There's not that much pressure. You can see how to bend tubing. A YouTube video made by Dopes Custom. He also used a Harbor Freight tubing, tubing bending device and an angle gauge. And here's, here's a photo of the device I used to bend the tubing. I cut the tubing with a chop saw. <clears throat> cut it after it was bent. I still had to do some bending in the interim. And then, then once it's cut with the chop saw, the chop saw just melts the steel. So you file the, the burrs away and you've got a nice joint or a nice end to work with. There's a photo of the crossover pipe that I built using the pipe bender pipe to go from the left hand manifold over to the Y tube. Here's a close up of the right hand exhaust pipe that I built and the flange fitting before I cut the two and a quarter inch hole in it. Once I had all these pipes cut, I fit the pipes in place, bolted them up to the manifolds and then tack welded the flange fittings onto each exhaust pipe. Then completely welded the exhaust pipe all, all the way around the flange fitting. Here's the right hand uh, exhaust pipe. Here's the left hand, tack welded, and then finish welded. And that's the flange that goes up against the exhaust manifold on the left hand crossover pipe. Then I put both of these into the Y tube. Once again, it was in and out, under the car and out, back out, trying to get these things fitted. But once you get them fitted, you tack weld them and then you weld the thing together. And there you've got a, a, a complete crossover system to fit into your pickup truck. This thing I, I, I could bolt in there just fine. But the problem I had was the left hand exhaust 
didn't fit flush against the the flange didn't fit flush against the manifold. I had a gap that was just simply too wide to close with a gasket. So what I had to do was I cut the manifold and inserted that stainless steel adapter so that I had some flex in the system and I could and I could bolt the flanges up tight against the exhaust manifolds. So there's the the flexible adapter in the system ready to go. That that's test fitting. I welded the adapter on. I don't show the welds there. And there there is the left hand exhaust pipe connected to the exhaust manifold. And here's a photo of the right hand side really and, and I couldn't get a feeder gauge in between the manifold and the flange so the gasket would seal up on it just fine. So there's a, there's a photo of the right hand side and the whole system set into the truck uh, ready, for, ready to be connected to the tail pipe system. Well, just a little bit more detail on the right hand side. And there's looking up from the bottom of the vehicle onto the right hand side flange adapter on the manifold itself. There's the left hand side flange adapter on the manifold itself with a little bit of uh, high temperature gasket seal in there just to hold the gaskets while I put the thing together. There's the Y pipe and both exhaust pipes coming from both manifolds ready to go into the muffler and tailpipe system. Now, how did I get the muffler on? I, did, I was tired of crawling around underneath this truck and so it was a fairly easy procedure just to simply lift the bed off the back end of the truck and work, work out in the open where I could stand up. First thing I did was I power washed everything underneath that truck so that the mufflers and, and, and so that everything was clean, clean to work. And then I mounted the tailpipe system using uh, rubber hangers and some parts acquired from the local salvage yard. There's the back end of the muffler hung. You can see the front muffler mount too. There's a more detail on that back muffler mount. I bolted it to the frame cross member and then of course I painted all of this stuff. So there's the, there's the complete exhaust system hung on the truck going over the rear axle with the, with the right rear shock removed. And the spare tire laying on the ground, I wanted to make sure I could still put the spare tire on the pickup truck. There's a different view from the cab back. You can see the rear hanger on the muffler and the very last hanger there on the tailpipe. There's the tailpipe. I tried to get a view of the hanger, but I just simply didn't get a picture of that hanger. You can see it right in front of that cross member there. So here's what the tailpipe looks like it's coming out the back. The rear shock mounts just fine. The rear tire and carrier fit in, in, into the, uh, underneath the bed fine too. There's the front view of the muffler and the hanger on the front end of the muffler. And you can see that muffler's a little bit hot, closer to the, to the floor of the cab than the Y-tube. So I had to build a, a, a jog pipe to get me from the Y-tube into the muffler itself and that I did on the pipe bender. There is the jogged pipe all clamped up to the muffler and clamped up to the Y-tube. And here's the pickup truck all put back together and how it looks from the back. So let's start this puppy up and listen to it and check for the exhaust leaks in the system at the manifold flanges and at the muffler.